Okay then guys, so hopefully at the time of recording we're just a couple of weeks away now from getting close to reopening the golf course and the driving range. So we thought this would be a good time for us to share with you some simple tips and hints that you can practice safely whilst at home. Um, but that will hopefully help you to get back into things as soon as possible and even better to have a really, really good season ahead. So here we have Simon describing a simple setup routine. And one of the reasons that this is something that we can, we can practice at home is that a key part of it is visualization. So visualization is something that's you know, part of what we you know, tend to call now mental skills training. And it's something that can and in fact probably should be practiced away from the golf course environment um, so you can develop uh, that, that ability to, to start to picture shots out there on the golf course and then bring that into this routine uh, to make it as productive as possible for you. So what you can see here is Simon's just using a, a club, uh, a ball and he's just using a tee as an intermediary target. And as the first part of the process is to, to stand directly behind that golf ball and face that imagined, that visualized target. And then as you have that visualized target line in mind, what we do is place the intermediary target. So in this instance, the tee, just two to three inches in front of the golf ball upon that visualized target line. And that's a really, really good way of starting to learn to aim the club face properly as part of this routine. And the, the first thing you do then is to set up the club face as you step into the shot, aimed squarely to that intermediary target that's just two to three inches in front of you. However, your visualized target could be, you know, 200 yards, whatever it might be in front of you, but it's much easier to aim at something that's two to three inches in front of you rather than potentially 200, 250 yards away from you instead. But all the while, as part of this routine, that consistent distance between yourself, short distance between yourself and the object that's on your inter intended target line means that you're going to be far more confident that you're aiming the club face square to the target line that you've visualized. Then the next step is to, as you step into the shot itself, is to set the instep of your back foot square to the leading edge of the club. We don't see a lot of golfers tend to do this, um, but hopefully it's something that as you start to use this routine, it will, it will start to make a bit of sense to you. And it makes a massive difference in terms of your ability to properly both aim the club face and align yourself in relation to it correctly as well. The result being, as we can see in this final slide, then is when you've complete your stance, you'll be both aimed and aligned correctly to your intended target. So practicing this routine for you know five or six minutes, just two or three times a week, will make a tremendous difference to you getting back into things out there on the driving range and most importantly the golf course, trusting that you're aiming somewhere near the target line itself. And the best example of this probably ever is this man here, Greg Norman. So as we play this video through, what we can see is he begins by looking down the target line. Then as he steps in, he'll have picked a spot out in front over which he's aiming the club face. And then we can see that it's the leading edge and the instep of his back foot that are square to each other. He's completed his stance. And then another really, really important point to make here is just how he just doesn't stop moving. So his feet are moving, his hands are, you know, his fingers are moving around a little bit on, on the club. You've got the waggle there. So all the while he's in motion. You'll never really see a very good golfer stand completely still over a golf ball before they hit a shot. But what you will do is see them go through a consistent routine that helps them to produce that kind of outcome. So hopefully this will be of some use to you as we build up to reopening. And we, we can't wait to see you out there on the golf course and back at the driving range very soon.